one thing I absolutely adore are pumpkin seeds. And I don't know if you guys know um, or have ever tried them before, but they're, um, this is it. They're pumpkin seeds with um, like spice in Portuguese. It's called pimenta. I'm totally like blanking out the word. I don't know how you say it in English. Pepper. Like spicy pepper, is that it? Anyway, but these things are not there. They're not very spicy. They're mostly just for flavor, and it kind of gives you like this. Oh, it's amazing! Like I, I love, love, love these things. And the whole time I was there, the first night I got there, I started eating them. And then the whole time I was there for the three weeks, I just kept eating these things because I just love them so much. And uh, they have them here, but um, these were like a little bit better, you know. Um. <clears throat> There's different styles too, and I got one of the other bags. But anyways, coming home, I bought five of these bags with me, and um, I love them so much. I'm ready down. This is my second bag. I ate one in a day and a half. So that's that. And then another thing I used, to, I ate a lot there are these cookies. Sorry about that. Are these cookies? They're um, white chocolate circles, but they're so good I'm not gonna lie I brought six packs of these back home with me they're so good um to finish off food I brought back these two bottles just like as a souvenir because I've never tried these before until I was there and because I never found these here ever when I went to the Fulnish which is the place that has the hot boiling water lakes or ponds that I have in one of my videos they have like in the little village they had a tourist shop and I got some postcards and stuff and the lady allowed us to try some of these liquors and there's other ones there but I've got my two favorites because I absolutely adore cinnamon I adore cinnamon and that they have cinnamon liquor which is so good and this one is like my favorite it's milk liquor Guys, it does not taste like milk at all. It's super sweet. It's so good. It's so tasty. But I don't want to open it. So, just for like, um, you know, a souvenir. And the other thing I got there a lot is jewelry. Most of my money was spent on jewelry. I got this bracelet. And um, I got this bracelet. Sorry, with my sign, Sagittarius, except there's a typo. I don't know if it's focusing. Anyway, there's a typo. There's missing a T. But whatever, I like it anyways. It was pretty. I like these type of things. And then, in a small shop, I got this necklace. Um, it's pretty long. And it's, it just reminded me of Alice in Wonderland. Not really sure if that's what it is, but it's a girl and there's playing cards like flying all around her. So, or falling all around her. I thought it was really cute and looks really, it looks really nice on and I wore it today actually. And then I bought, oh, this is fun. I love cats and I saw this little pin. If you guys are picking this up. And it's so cute. And it has these little dangly things. And I tried looking for a matching necklace. They didn't have... They have a bracelet, but... I don't like dangly bracelets. But they have this brooch. So what I'm going to do is break this off. And it's perfect because there's a little opening here. And I'm going to make this a necklace for me. I adore it. And I actually got inspired by this. I kind of want to make my own charms. Oops. My own cat charm necklaces or something for my bracy designs I just really I love it so much it's so cute um so that was in that bag and I got two rings I couldn't decide honestly I was there forever and I wanted to get everything it was just like this little jewelry store called jewelry store called Bijou Bridget and these bags are perfect for my smash book, which I will be putting them in. <laughs> anyway, so I ended up deciding on these two. This is like a blue, sort of mint green, sort of blue 
ish color that I'm like in love with right now. And it has sort of like this, it's really pretty, look. It's kind of loose, but it's it's really nice. I got it. And then I got this red one, which I love. Kind of looks like this. It's really pretty. And then like, I'm trying to do a collection of collecting something from everywhere I go. So when I went to Punta Cana, I brought this back. And it's a little bottle with seashells and sand. And I also brought, I also brought this little um, seashell. So I'm trying to collect something from everywhere I go with the name of it on the like the souvenir so that in my own when I have my house I'm gonna have like a little shelf and just like a little places it's gonna be like places I've been shelf you know like a little thing from everywhere and what I got here was this little porcelain thimble it says Azores on it with the national flower these things were everywhere and they're so pretty and it says San Miguel in the back that's where I went the thimble is classic Portugal so this is really cute and it's not too big i didn't want like something too big and it was perfect because you know just a little um souvenir for my collection and yeah i also picked up some other stuff for souvenirs this patch i was thinking maybe doing like a backpack with different patches from everywhere i go and then this is the Azores flag sticker i'm gonna put in my smash book this thing was one euro which is so expensive for a little sticker. Um, what else is there? Before I get into that, I have this bag full of things I collected on my trip to put in my Smashbook. Like, this is full of stuff. Like, little thing from when I went to eat. Uh, what is this? A receipt. This is um, gold buyers. and It's like a fake $50 euro. A 50 euro, not $50 euro. And stuff like that. My luggage tag and stuff like that. And it's all in here and there's so much. So excited. This is all to be in my stash book. So I'm thinking am I gonna have to I might have to get one Smashbook just for Portugal because I have a lot of stuff and a lot of pictures. I think I have like 2,000 pictures. I'm slowly uploading them on Facebook. So then one day, my one morning, my mom and my grandmother, I found them in the garage looking through old old stuff that, my, that used to belong to my mom. And I found lace. So excited. I brought us so much home. My mom made this when she was living in Portugal. So this is like, I don't know, 30 years old. Um, at that point, that point in time, this was like really popular. They would um, like make these little teacups out of like crochet. And I think, I forgot what she told me. You have to put something inside and then like put something on top of it, would, would, which would kind of like harden it. And then they would have them on their bars decorating. But my mom never, oops. And they would have them on their bars, but my mom never finished it. So it's this like little unfinished teacup that my mom crocheted when she was like 18 or 20. So I brought it home. This is another flower thing my mom made. And this would be so cute, like on a headband or something. So I brought it home. She also made these little things. These were like samples. Like she would make samples and show people. And if they wanted something, you know, she would continue with it. Anyways, I finally found what I was looking for. Vintage lace from God knows when. <laughs> this is really vintage. But now that I have it, whoa, I'm going to feel like I feel bad using it because it's belonged to my mom and then my grandmother and I don't have a lot of it. I don't. I feel bad using it. But if I were to use it, I guess it's only for like personal projects or maybe I could use a bit on cards and stuff. But I'm sort of like a hoarder, so... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to end up using these things. I hope I do. And then I have this sort of trim. And there's this one. And then there's a bigger one. This has a lot. And then this one's really cute. 
And last is this one. I'm not sure if this is any, I'm not sure if these are double, but I picked up this stuff. And this is a strawberry she made. <laughs> yeah, my battery is dying, so I hope I get to finish this video. Then I picked up some ribbon, because I just, they were one euro. And I love these shades. Look at this blue. And I just picked it up, and then I got some black for cards, and because I'm going to start making some headbands. Then I went to, when I first went to Portugal, I was eight years old, and where my mom used to live, which was my grandmother's house, down the street, there was like a little grocery store, and I remember going there and buying gums and stuff when I was young, so we went there again today, um, this year, when I went, and I took pictures, and I went back, and I bought some gum, and I have like one left, <laughs> but I kept the wrappers, so I can put them in my Smashbook. Then I did some shopping at a, like, thread type store. And then I bought some elastic. I know I can get this here, but it was like 40 cents for a meter. And I don't need a lot, just for some headbands. And then I got this seam binding. No, it's not seam binding. I don't know what this is called, but it's ribbon with the little lines on it for um, wrapping the elastic at the end of my headband. And then I found these little... Um, I got four of these. These little dangly things for um, bracelets. Oh yeah, there's another bracelet. One second. I found it. It's this little feather and so the thing I got is kind of like this. So um, yeah, which is a little elastic. And then my cousins bought me this purse which is fun. It has gold studs and then like two different types of, of like candles. And I bought this headband, which is funky, different colors. And this other purse. It's cute and small. And then as for clothing, I bought this um this black skirt. It has lace. It's sort of like a poofy kind of high-waisted skirt. And it has this really nice detailed lace under. Here. Hold on. So when you're wearing it, the lace kind of shows on your skin because the skirt under is really, it's like a lot shorter, this thing. So, this, so the lace kind of like hangs over, sorry, like something like this. <laughs> yeah, you can see it better. So your skin, like you kind of see the lace when you're wearing it. It's really cute. And I bought that skirt and this dress at Stradivarius. Stradivarius, sorry. Oop, the belt is coming off. Anyway, um, I love the color so much it comes with this little belt that goes around the waist like so and the back is all lace whoops there you go so it's really cute i loved it and then at a shop called bershka i bought this cute um black before i went to Portugal I actually looked for a shirt this style sort of loose baggy um like I don't know what the type of shirt this is called but I guess it's a blouse I don't know it's baggy and loose and the front has some lace and then the back is all lace and it looks really cute and it was pretty I think yeah this was on sale for like $12.99 and then the week after I went I found it for $9.99 which is a bummer and then I got this comforter also and then the last thing I bought were these black um these brown pants um they're not jean or anything they're uh, I guess cotton hold on if you can see them so that's it thanks guys for watching